In this lesson, I want to go over the overview for how Joomla menus work. Everything that you see on here is connected to the menu and you have the ability to create as many menu items as you need for your website. So there is absolutely no limit. You can create sub menus like you see this one here. You can create mega menus like you see this one here. And all of these capabilities have already been built into the Helix. So let's go back now and take a quick overview of how the menus work. So you go over to menus. When you click on here, you go to manage. This is where you can add new menus. So if you wanted to build a custom menu for something else, this is where you go to add. And if you want to view all the menus, you click all menu items. This one is going to show you all the menus that you have on your site. So all of them, you can go through all the different menu items and you can select each individual menu from here or you can go here you click this drop down and you can choose the menus individually now right over here it says search so when you click this here you activate this this gives you a little bit more details where if you wanted to find all the trashed items if you want to find on publish or publish if you want to see or this is really great because there are times when you delete a page and you put it in the trash and you don't want to view that page anymore or there are times when you want to see only the published pages so you use this select status to do that now if you want to go select access i didn't cover access in this particular course a lot uh, but i do it in my other joomla courses but this one here this is where you can choose the access level every menu item you can put the access level to so whether it's guest public registered special and special user now, like these two here this is a special user one this is for the super super admin this is the person that have exclusive control over the entire site and then you have the language here. if you have multi-lingual you can see all the languages here and you have the max level how many levels up to you want and then you have the parent so you can choose from the select the menus here what item that you want to be able to get access to so this is the basic structure of the Joomla menu. So when you click on each one, for example, you're presented with a lot of different things. So let's break this page down. So to the right of here, these are all the other menus that you can select. So instead of going back to menus, you can go here. And if you wanted to add this item onto a specific menu, you select this menu. Right now, this home is connected to the main menu. But if you wanted to change that to something else, you can choose whatever menu you have on here. And you can choose the root. What this means is that do you want this menu item to be the main item or do you want it to be a sub menu item? So if you have about, do you want it to be its own page where it's shown at the very top or do you want it to be under another menu? Then you have the public status, you have default as a default page. Yes, because there's the home page, public access. So you can make each page either public register guest or however you want it to be and that's one of the beautiful things about joomla is that you can give access to certain parts of your website to certain individuals so if you have a membership site and you don't want everyone have access to it well you can create certain pages for that and hide it so you go over here you have the menu item type when you click on the menu item type here this gives you all the variety and different ways you can connect menus to so if you have an article and again, I didn't go over extensive detail with all of these here, but wanted to give you a quick overview. So if you wanted to connect this home menu to let's say an article, you just have to come and you select that. Whatever you want to connect your menu items to, this is where you do it. So when you go to the menu item type and you click on it, it's gonna do this pop-up and you can connect it to the login, to tag, system links, and all this stuff here. So this is how you link or connect a new page to a menu. And then you have the select page. So with SP Page Builder, when you select it, it gives you the option to choose the page that you want to connect it to. So all of the pages here that are connected to SP Page Builder, if you go, let's go back here. When we go to where it says menu item type, and if we select uh, SP Page Builder, this here, which is selected now, it's going to ask you to choose what page. So we've selected it and you can see select page and then from there you can go on and choose whatever page. So all the pages that you have on page builder will be shown um, on here. And then you have the link type. Don't worry too much about this. Just now you can have to add the menu title. You can lift that as says display. This just asking do you want to show the menu title on the front end? Do you want it to say home 
or do you want to just not have it there and then page display this is the browser this part for the seo is really great also so when people come on your site they can know what the page is about but sp page builder has its own page title that pretty much takes over this so but it's always good to optimize both of them show page heading you can set to yes the page heading is just the heading of that particular page um, the class don't worry about the class the metadata all you have to do with this one is put in a really solid description once again page builder gives the ability for you to be able to add descriptions on there and then back here this also a key thing here so use global now I didn't go over the global setting but you can set the global settings here uh, to automatically index and follow what this means is is it going to index the pages allow search engines robots there's certain pages that you may not want to have no index and no follow let's say you have a privacy page or I'm sorry you have a membership content that you don't care if other people get to it only specific members well you can un index that no index no follow so the robots behind the scene they're gonna see that okay let's not follow this let's not index it and then for your secure you can make this um the https right now it's already been selected so you don't have to worry about that and then for the mega menu we'll cover that um in just a moment and then for the page title this is the page title when you go on each page let's say the about us this is the page title right here so when you go on that page you can choose yes or you can choose no alternative titles is just like a subtitle of that so these what that's what these two or four page subtitle and alternative title you can change uh, the different titles so if you don't want to just say home you can put whatever you want it to be but you have to make sure that you enable the yes and then the h1 or h2 once again h1 tag h2 all, all the way up to h6 these are for um, search engines so that they know the priority and you can choose the background color you can choose the background image and then the module assignment i'm not going to cover this one but these are the different modules that you can be able to connect it to so that is the overview of how the menu system works next we're going to take a look at the other pages and what's connected to them